for some people, um, you know, this this whole thing about wholeness might feel a bit unusual, a bit edgy, like this thing of dropping the mask and and just showing up whole and seeing people relate from a deeper place. Like it, it, it might feel a little edgy or, or even threatening. Um, and um, yeah, I, I sure remember that for a long time I was a master at um, you know avoiding conversations that became too personal with a little snarky remark or a joke, right? And that was just a way for me to shut down going to a, a deeper place. Um, and um, and yeah, I think that it's interesting when you see these signs of resistance um, because sometimes they can hold up a really interesting mirror. Um, I. I, I can see um, at least two reasons uh, why people could have resistance um, that could be um, a useful mirror for you. One is that um, you know going to a deeper space uh, you know is is always just an invitation, right? You can and, and should never force anybody uh, to be vulnerable, you know, to disclose, to talk about personal things, right? Um, then they have perfectly, you know, their, their right to resist, right? Um, because because it's it's a form of pressure onto them. It's it's always only just an invitation. We create a, sp a space that's safe enough for people to show up whole, and you might lead by example, by sharing some personal stories, by showing yourself to be vulnerable. Um, but you should never force other people to then join you. Um, they can if they want to, but you should never force them to. Um, and so it's an interesting question. If there was a resistance, was there maybe some pressure onto other people, some expectation, like, oh, now we're doing a sharing circle and this, this should be deep. Um, right? So for instance, if you do at some point a sharing circle, if you do a check-in in meetings, um, you know, people should always be able to skip and that shouldn't be judged like, hey, yeah, no, I, you know, I passed my turn. Um, another thing is that you might have done wholeness sort of for wholeness sake, right? And, and I believe that certainly the beginning, um, it, you know, it, it should always be linked to, to work and to why this is important for work, right? Um, say that in a team um, that moves towards self-management in a factory, you know, you invite people to a conversation about um, where are you at in your private lives, you know, that is, interesting because that helps us plan better and schedule better. Okay, so actually for you it's interesting to come in later and like for you might be actually shift to a later shift might be, um, okay, you don't have childcare to deal with. Okay, so these conversations are interesting because they have a direct bearing on how we work. Um, but when you do sharing for sharing's sake, then that feels weird. Like why are we asked this? This makes this is you know, not related to our work. And in the beginning, that feels, that feels strange, that feels edgy. Um, for a lot of people, that feels threatening, like, okay, I'm gonna disclose something personal, but how might this be used against me? Um, so, so yeah, let's be, let's be careful with this. Like, um, let's not do wholeness for wholeness sake. Um, you know, let's, let's not have this become something, some sort of cult. <laughs> um, and I know that sometimes, to some degree, it's inevitable. I don't know if you've noticed this, like sometimes you've learned something new and then you apply it everywhere because you've just you know, learned about it. And so, you know, as we, um, as we invite people to a different place, we might go overboard. Um, but but let's, be, let's be careful with this. Um, now perhaps, you know, none of these two things apply. Maybe there's somebody for whom you know, this feels strange or threatening. And no, you actually haven't put any pressure on them, um, you know, it, it was all work related and still simply for them to see other people opening up um, feels threatening for them. Um, and, and that's okay, you know, let's, let's accept that, that reality. Um, I would urge you in that case to, to accept and welcome this resistance and take it seriously. And then you can have a beautiful conversation with that person where you simply um, acknowledge it, right? I talked about it in a previous video. You can simply say, hey, this seems to be new and, and hard for you. And, um, and it's hard for me to see you suffer. And simply, simply acknowledge it and say that and not try to fix it. Um, and if the person resonates with that, you might then 
explore why why do you think this is hard and what you know what what feels uncomfortable for you and what would make it feel more comfortable and actually what you're having there is actually you know a conversation from a place of wholeness about you know that that person's difficulty with wholeness um, and um, yeah and that's okay but again no pressure not don't try to solve it for them just offer a space um, where you can where you can talk about it and you can also offer coaching right you can tell the person hey you know do you want to work with somebody um, to help you help you deal with it um, one thing that's important for me is that you know we treat one another as adults in the organization and it, you have a conversation with that person and say hey this is the direction the organization is going to there's no going back and so maybe you'll get comfortable with this as time passes or maybe you know this stays uncomfortable and 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 maybe you know it would be better for you to be find work elsewhere um, if this is really too hard for you um, so we're really trying to create everything as possible for everybody to you know grow into the space but but there is no pressure um, and you know if you're happy elsewhere um, you know let us know if we can help you um, make that transition one thing that's very clear is that um, you know we won't accept cynicism or snarky remarks or something that you do because you're uncomfortable that will make other people uncomfortable that will you know make it uh, again more of a, a fearful place for other people um, so so that's a a choice that is up to you right to make and and so that that's I think something we owe people is to treat them as adults and and have that have that conversation but most of the time, um, what I hear from organizations is that people leaving for this is really rare. Um, is most people like in the beginning it feels uncomfortable, but at some point actually you're like, oh wow, you know this is, I can actually drop my mask. This actually feels good. Perhaps you've noticed there is no paywall, no monthly membership to access this video series. That's because the videos live in the gift economy. This is how it works. I gift everything that goes into making the videos, my time, energy, and insights, and you get to choose what feels right to gift back. Please take a moment to reflect on what would feel good to give in return to help me continue doing this work. Thank you.